This is a tutorial of how I make forum signatures. I keep a folder of SIGs that I've collected from other forums so that I can pull ideas or inspiration if I'm feeling dry. Okay, first of all, I've taken hundreds of screenshots so that I have some material to pull from. It's like in real life when photographers take hundreds of photos so that they can keep a few good ones. I pulled out some potential screenshots that I'll use for Radley's SIG. Since he's a big pugilist, ideally I'd like to have him punching towards the camera or breaking out of a border or something to that effect. But it will depend on what good images I have of him. This one is a good pose and it's fantastic lighting. Unfortunately, I wasn't hiding the menus and text when I took it, so it's going to be inconvenient to deal with the target on his chest and the, the text that's in front of his right arm over here. I'll pull a few of these into Photoshop that I think have the best potential and then I'm going to crop them into roughly a SIG shape so that I can visualize how each image would work. I love that upper right one so much, but it's not really good SIG material. I need to let go of that one. I'm getting the idea that I'm going to use the upper left one since the colors and the lighting are already so perfect. Okay, I've chosen the image I want to use and I'm bringing some of my tools onto the main screen so that you can see what I'm doing. Normally I keep all my tools on my second monitor. I've duplicated the original layer so that if I mess up something I'll have the original handy. Okay, now it's time to cut out the character. I do this so that I can put in my own background or so that I can make the character pop out of the border like on my SIG. With the character cut out, you can do a lot of things to make him really stand out and look good. I'm using the magnetic lasso tool since it helps me go along the edges when there's a lot of contrast and I give myself room around his hair since his hair is fluffy and doesn't have a distinct edge. Fast forward a bit. I put a gray layer behind Rad so that I can clearly see what I erase. After I erase around the selection, I'm going to go around the perimeter of the whole character to clean things up. The menu that you see me messing around with is where I change the hardness of the brush. I'm making the brush soft enough to erase around his fluffy hair. Okay, fast forwarding again. I put a drop shadow behind him so it's easy to tell where the edges are. It doesn't take very long to clean it up, even though it looks a little tedious. Now, I'm getting rid of the text and stuff in front of my character by using the clone stamp tool, which lets me copy other parts of the image. Sometimes I use the smudge tool to smooth things out. By the way, the music that's playing is Beirut, which is what I listened to when I made this SIG. Alright, next I've decided I want Rad's front hand to be coming out of the border. So using this foresight, I'm going to erase parts of his torso that are going to be behind the border. And I'm keeping the claw, which is going to be in front of the border. Next, I'm going to add a border to the SIG. You don't need a border all the time. In fact, it can potentially take the focus away from the character. I usually just steal borders from screenshots of various video games. In this case, I'm going to use the border from a guild lev image that's included in a fan site kit that's on the Lodestone page. In fact, there are a lot of good images on the fan site kit that you may want to take a look at. This board is going to take a bit of work. I'm erasing the inside of it. And after I do this, I'm going to have to reshape it so that it's long enough for my particular use.
Alright, let's turn this border on its side. And then I'll copy half of it and paste it on top so that I can start making it longer. I'm going to erase the back one. And then I'm going to use an eraser with a soft edge to make the transition smooth. Alright, I'm going to give him a drop shadow. And now it's time to choose a background. I'm looking through my collection to see if there's anything that I'd like to put behind Rad. Here we go. Now I just need to decide exactly how I want to put it behind him. Once I have it where I want it, I get rid of anything that's extraneous. And then I'll give the border a drop shadow, because I give everything drop shadows. And then I'm going to adjust the hue and the saturation. And this is a good time to change the brightness and contrast of my main character. Next, it's time to choose a font. I went to dafont.com and I'm picking out a few that catch my eye. Don't overdo it on super fancy fonts. I'm installing the font and I'm going to go in and try out some different ones here. I decided to use two different fonts for this particular sig. Now I want to put some flame behind the name, but there's nothing in the collection in my collection that works. So I'm going to Google Images to look for a flame. But I can't find anything in Google Images either, so I'm going to try deviantart.com. Here we go this will work. I'll save this. I'll copy it and paste it in. And I'm going to change the layer property to lighten. I'm almost done. I'll get rid of the gray background and then I'll crop the image to about between 500 and 600 pixels wide. I'm going to save it as a ping file, PNG, because it preserves the transparency. With a JPEG, you have to keep a background color to it. That's why all of my SIGs are pings. I'm uploading it right now to my web server. And I'm going to go on the forum and test out how it looks. It tends to always look a little different in its context. I don't really like the way that the contrast is on my character, so I'm going to change it, especially around the face. From here I make whatever adjustments I'm compelled to make. It's really just a matter of personal taste, what looks good to my eye.